Hello and welcome to today's video. So on the workbench today we have a NLG5 battery charger. This one is mine. I've got a customer who is having issues connecting with uh, ChargeStar, which is Bursa's software that they use to configure the battery chargers. And uh, I've got a working setup here, so I figured I'd just uh, run through and show this is, this is my setup. This is how I connect to it. And uh, first thing we've got is an old 32-bit processor-based laptop. This one happens to be running Vista. Uh, could be running uh, XP, but it does have to be a 32-bit processor. I believe ChargeStar is a VV6 application, and so it wants uh, older hardware. It will not work on a 64-bit based uh, machine. It has to be a 32-bit based machine. I am using a prolific USB to serial adapter. I know that the prolific ones work. Um, there, It might work with other ones, but that just happens to be the one I'm using. I've also got it set to uh, COM1, so if you go into your uh, uh, properties here, device manager, it's Windows Vista, so you gotta hit continue on everything. But you definitely wanna make sure that it is assigned to COM1. You can see it's a prolific USB serial adapter and it is assigned to COM1 or COM2. Um, Charge Star expects it to be on one of those two ports. So if you're having issues connecting, verify that your serial port is on COM1 or COM2. Uh, sometimes when you plug them in, they get assigned to like weird COM, like COM8 or something, but you definitely need to reassign it to COM1 or 2. And to do that, you just right click on it, go to properties, and then I think it's under port settings, advanced, and then it's under here, so make sure you set it to COM1. But uh, yeah, so this one's already on COM1, so we're good. So the next thing we want to do is uh, launch Charge Star here. This is version uh, 3.05. Uh, 3 which is available on uh, Bruce's website. Um, and I should be able to just download it. It's the current version. You see we're not connected. Uh, we're also not plugged in. So the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I've got the USB to serial adapter. It's plugged into the cable here, plugged into the uh, charger as per their um, uh, document, their user's manual. It tells you which pins to wire up the uh, transmit, receive, and ground lines for the serial port. Uh, this one also has CAN, but we're not using CAN. And then I've also got the charger uh, enable line. It is currently disabled, so the charger will not try to charge anything since we don't have a battery hooked up to it anyway. And then the little resistors here are optional. Those are just bypassing the temperature sensors, the three temperature sen probes that we don't have hooked up. But uh, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and plug it in. I'm going to plug it into 240 here. I hear some clicks. And we should get uh, power, light, LED, and that we have an error. And that error is because we're not turned on, not enabled. And then the next thing we do is just go to connection, and tell it to connect to the NLG. It'll now say it's connected to the unit. Mine happens to be a 511. And then we're going to, uh, I think under profile, we're going to receive from. It'll download all the stuff from it. And that will update all of your parameters. And I can go in here and change the voltages, currents, and all that. Uh, change all of the, uh, if you, if it's in auto mode, which is what this is set to. You can go through and change all of this. Uh, you can, uh, you know, follow the manual on how to, what all these do and everything. Uh, you can also force it to be uh, in boost mode where it's a slave to another charger. You connect them in parallel. Or you can put it, force it to be in can only mode. Uh, by leaving it auto, it'll work either way. It'll either follow this profile or if it receives can packets, it'll run in can mode. Um, I think you can come in here and change... Uh, Check the charger info here. Uh, this one is serial number 2446. I think the customer is saying that he can connect, but he was getting all this data was all garbled. Um, 
but there's firmware version, production date, and uh, serial number is 2446, which does match the uh, serial number on here, which is 2446. So <clears throat> that all looks good. And uh, I think what else can you do in here? I think there's under here you can change. Oh, you can change all the CAN messages if you want. If you had two chargers, you can come in here and, and reassign uh, the CAN messages and then the baud rate and stuff for, for CAN. And uh, the ventilation request is actually for if you have, uh, if you're using a J1772, you can uh, set that bit and it'll toggle the, uh, the packet for the, or the line for the, J1772 that says that you have to wait for the ventilation. Uh, it has to be a ventilated system in order for it to charge, kind of a thing. Uh, but yeah, uh, once you're done making all your changes, you just click back over here and then say send a charger F7 and it will program all your changes into the, into the, uh, the battery charger. So yeah, that's it. Um, so I think those are the only requirements you really need is uh, a 32-bit machine. A, uh, I always use the prolific USB to serial adapters because I know they work. Uh, some of the, the cheaper, um, the CH340 based ones I know sometimes have issues. And uh, I think, I'm trying to think, what was the, uh, what's the other, uh, F the FTDI ones, I believe, also work. Uh, but I, I typically just use the prolific ones because they always seem to work. Um, but, yeah, it's just wired in. It's it's not, not doing anything special. So, yeah. But uh, hopefully that helps. Maybe you got something plugged in out of order, like, um, you know, you connect, then plug in the, the charger connect to it but uh yeah hopefully you can go through the video and that will get you what you need and when you're done you just uh tell it to uh disconnect from the charger you'll hear it do some clicks and then as it resets it reboots the charger when you disconnect and then just kill this and nope i don't want to make any changes and that's it anyways quick video thanks for watching Bye.